It has always been easy to get the current day out of the Oracle database. You can use SysDate or current date or any of the timestamp functions. But getting the next month from the current date has always been problematic. For example, if today happens to be a day in June, then adding 30 days will give me the correct result. However, if I pick a known date in July, then I no longer get the correct result. 30 days only works for certain months of the year. The add months function solves this. It understands dates and months. Adding one month to the 5th of July gets you the 5th of August. If you want to add a year, simply choose 12 months for the second parameter. The second parameter can also be negative, so you can go backwards six months or any number of months you want. It can also be zero, going nowhere. This makes sure that you won't get an error if the second parameter is the result of an expression. Add months also understands general intent. So if you add a month to the last day of this month, you will get the last day of next month. Even if the next month is shorter, for example, going from October to November, you will get the last day of the next month. Add months understands the combination of leap years and end of months. Therefore, adding a year to the 28th of February in 2019 will get you the 29th of February in the following year.